Good morning, you guys. It is first thing in the morning, and I am already topping off my coffee because I'm about to go outside for a very big day. Now, I have no idea what this day is going to be like. Maybe my uh, vlogging prowess will conquer the distractions, and maybe it won't. So, we'll just have to see. We are having the first big event. We had a small event here, but this is the first big one since moving to our new property. We have been working towards this for several months, and uh, this is the event for the people who did the lifetime membership for Abundance Plus when we first started Wilder, Wilder Still. So it was kind of like getting behind us to get that thing off the ground. We're now wrapping up the first season of that show. It's available at Abundance Plus. Um, and at this point, you can actually like binge watch because there are several episodes up if you've not seen them where we are kind of talking about the story of moving and our big vision and our big dream down the road you know the the wilder still dream if you will so today we are having um, nearly a hundred people out to our farm Armosa our film crew is already here Justin got here yesterday and the rest of his family will be here today he brought Jonah with him and uh, we've had a really good last day and now I woke up this morning really bright and early before the sun was up and I laid in bed and I was like, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. So I got my coffee. I'm going to take my camera out and um, give you guys the opportunity to kind of be a fly on the wall for this event. I will probably be handing this camera off to other people um, to get some footage here and there. So I don't know who you're going to meet today. I don't know how it's going to go, but I do think we can count on it being really good. All right, let's go outside. Bear, are you being the welcome committee? Here's the Armosa van. Looks like part of the crew and Justin up there with Jeremiah milking. Hey guys, what's up? Nothing. Hello. Hey, hey oh. mom. 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 <laughs> what's up, no. dudes? Mom. 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 You look at me from down here. I like three people that have color at the end of the day. Mimi, the brown. Yeah. Um, Presley the black. Um, oh. and West the green. <laughs> oh. oh, the kids are all hanging out. What's up, Jonah? You brought extra there. Staying out of the way, I think. Look at this. You remember? <laughs> she made a mess. The Rhodes family comes bearing a pig. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is hilarious. <laughs> I love that your family just pulls up yeah, it's to the pig. party. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I told Rebecca, I said it's her pig until the mess is cleaned up. I just didn't, I just didn't anticipate. <laughs> Alright. Cute. She's a pig. She's super cute. Look at her. I feel like she's got oh a sweet gosh, personality. Last night. last night we were trying to figure out the tag. Because we on yeah. the health certificate to get yeah. you the right pig yeah. that matches with your health certificate. Joe, Si, and I, all the pigs were just crazy last night. And we were like, <laughs> just I was like, I can't get my eyes to focus on the numbers. They won't hold their heads still. Oh. All right, well, we'll just close this. <laughs> <laughs> like that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, guests are beginning to arrive. We're parking everybody. Uh, kind of the chaos of getting everything in. I know it's gonna be great. Um, we're ready, we're set up, so now it's just getting everybody in here. Now, what our guests today don't know is that we've been waiting to share a really massive announcement for this day. So they're gonna hear it first and you're gonna hear it on this vlog. Um, and I'm feeling really excited. <laughs> All right, everybody is here. We're getting settled in and we're about to take everyone on a tour of the farm. All 
Um, is that my camera? Yeah, is that oh, okay? Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you, left it on, you left it on the thing. Well, Vlogger friends are good for <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna set up a chicken coop over here that can help keep this spread out. So this is one of the problems we've been dealing with. And instead of just being like, oh, this is a problem, the first thing that we're looking at is where is the solution that lies within our farm? And keeping chickens around your poop areas uh, is definitely going to keep the fly population down because they're going to scratch through that and eat those larvae. And right now, that's an issue we have. And we're actually getting another coop set up over here, like this week, and that's where those young chicks are going to come. That will turn and have gates access to all the rotational runs that go this way. And, and you that's would divide those. What? <laughs> <That's> a lot <laughs> of math. <laughs> you tend to get too much. It's not going to do in half. <laughs> you can't set it and forget it. And then, <laughs> and listen, if you want to slow them down to a 45 day rotation, just imagine those paddocks are in thirds. If you want to do a 60, which is ideal, uh, the longer you can give it to rest, the better. And sometimes on, on an acreage, you're, you maybe started here and you're going like this day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. All right, Asher, we're about to go down for lunch. Will you carry my camera for me? Yes, ma'am. So we're about to serve lunch, and I just came down here real quick because I forgot to make the dressings last night. So I just threw these together. We're going to go down there and have lunch with everybody. You ready, buddy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Actually, I need to grab some rosemary to put them in this dressing. Hey, Asher, can you hold these jars for me? Yes, ma'am. Salad dressings are so nice to be able to just throw together. Um... We'll grab some of this rosemary to put in this one. Okay. Let's walk down, baby. All right, we're getting lunch ready. We got some lovely salad stuff and jambalaya. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some gloves and come back. I believe we're recording. What's up, guys? Jesse here. We're at Brooke Homestead. We're out at Roots Refuge doing the. Uh... Now we're gonna serve some food, right? Yep. Jambalaya. We got jambalaya. I think that's a good start for kids. Yeah. More. Uh, no, that's a good start. I'm just gonna walk around and get some footage. You got me take control of the real camera. It's a little bit different than what I have. So we're gonna try to talk to some people. Will you introduce yourself and be on Sure. I'm Lindsay. Cool. Right, where are y'all from? The Chicago area. Chicago, wow, that's where we drive. Yeah. Drop the lane or just go? Oh, okay. That's gonna, I feel like that's going to be the majority of the life. But anyways, uh, we wanted to start food because I'm hungry and I'm sure all of you are hungry and starving and it smells so good. Yeah, yeah, we get caught up that, that's okay too. But uh, I'm going to go over a few things, I'll say a prayer and then we'll we'll get started. All right, so everybody's grabbing food now, so I'm going to go down the line. We're going to let people introduce themselves. Everybody wants to be on Roots of Refuge, right? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. We do. yeah. So, let's we'll start with y'all. We're David and Whitney Failer. We're from uh, around Austin, Texas. Texas, yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. Drive or, or fly? We flew. Wow. Flew? Yeah, yeah okay. too long to drive. Too long to drive. All right. Beautiful country. Absolutely. All right. This guy, I, I personally like this guy because he told me he liked my shirt. Love the shirt. He's got Florida vibes. He's got the Florida vibes. I'm so. guessing y'all are from Florida. There you go. Florida. Yeah. Drive or fly? Oh, we drove. Joe? Okay, yeah. where in Florida? The Panhandle. So nice. close to Pensacola. And uh, first time in seven years that we don't have kids with us, you know, so we got four boys. So, yeah, it's a, it's a blast. Enjoy your break. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's nice. Good <laughs> meeting you. All right. <laughs> so where are y'all from? Oh, we're in the middle of transition from Washington State to Texas. That's a big transition. Yeah. So what uh, what brought you to Texas? Uh, my what, family. Or, or, yeah. Your family? Kind of, yeah. So what's your name? I'm Laura. Chris. Laura and Chris. Oh, right. And we drove. You drove? From Seattle. Oh, drove from Seattle. I thought you were already in Texas. Okay. Well, kind of. So half and half. How was that? How are you taking that, that 
Yeah. And then, How are you moving? Yeah. Like he's shipping well, everything? Or? No, we're driving it. Yeah. Driving. Oh, man. Yeah. A lot of miles. I know. Well, <laughs> flying back up and driving another load. Well, good luck to y'all. All right, we're going. We're going to come back to them. We got a little cut off. Jeremiah was doing the, uh, doing his, his talking. So, who we have here again? Lindsay and Ben. Lindsay and Ben. Where are y'all from? Chicago. Chicago. Area. Chicago. And, uh, they, they flew. Uh, we're, that's the. Uh, said that's the uh, census. A lot of people are flying from further away. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see y'all. Thank you for having us. Florida. Okay. And uh, y'all drove here. Yes, flew she, flew she flew in from flew Texas in. to Orlando, and then she drove, drove, here. drove here with me. So. Okay, great. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, I'm Hannah Thompson Welch from Kingston, North Carolina. Kingston, North Carolina. I got you drove here. I did. It wasn't too bad of a drive, was it? No, it was just three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Alaska. Good. Glad you're here. Yeah. Glad to be here. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in front of Justin. Oh. <laughs> this is Richard Refuge, you know, camera. So who do we have here? Uh, I'm Elisa. This is Zach. Wow. We're from Kansas. Mm -hmm. Kansas. Y'all flew? Or drove? Uh, we drove. We drove. Yeah. That's a good little drive. Right yeah, there. it took a while. <laughs> Worth it so far? Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, all right. You want to be on? Sure. All right. Who we have here? I'm Ryan. Elisha. We're from Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> yep. How was that? Great. It's a Great. good drive. Good drive. Yeah. 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 Well, was it worth it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, having a good time in here. Loving it. Awesome. It's a lot, lot different than seeing it on camera. It is. Oh, it is. It's yeah. beautiful. very beautiful. Here. I'm glad the wind started falling. It was a little warm this morning. Yes. Hey, I'm glad y'all here. <laughs> y'all want to be on the Roots of Refuge? Hello. Sure. All right. Who, who, who do we have here? What ladies do we have here? I'm Sarah from New York. I'm Teresa. I'm from Wisconsin. I'm Rachel. I'm from New York. New York. So y'all flew. We drove. We drove. We drove. We drove. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We drove too. yeah. Um. Well, we left Wednesday and we just got actually pulled in a, a little town out here. Yep. Last night, late last night, about 11:30. So. That's a long day. Ours is about 12 hours. Yeah. Well, that was glad y'all made it. Yeah. Thank we're you. thankful to be here. Yeah. You might have vlog. <laughs> are you in the vlog now? You're in the vlog. What's so everybody name? knows I'm Jesse. And where are you from? I'm from uh, Willowbrook Homestead. Okay, nice. A episode six. Oh, nice. Uh, Wilder okay. Still, yeah. Wilder oh, still episode six. I have two. Well, who we got here? This is Grandpa. That's Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. I'm Tom. That's the Tom. Yeah, the Tom. The Tom. Not to be confused with you. The Tom. That's right. Small T Tom. Yeah, it's a big capital T Tom. Yeah. You having a good time? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, uh, you got the work table here. That'll do. What it is, sir. You've seen, you seen most of these beautiful faces. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know it. How many girls? You guys say for the camera. How do you feel about cooking out here for everybody? It's awesome. I'm starving. Yeah, so it's hard to serve it up without eating it. That's right. That's, that's my biggest problem whenever I'm, I yep. can, I can <laughs> try not to eat it. Yep. You got to wait till the end. Say hey. Hi. Who are you talking to over there? It's a good looking man. Yes. Give me a minute. Why you quit talking, Wes? I wasn't sure this situation. This camera. What are you talking about? Okay. There's your spot. Talking about horses. Did you want chicken on this? Yes. What did you pick the filly? Yes. All right, Jess, how's it, how's it feel to be interviewed on your own? Yeah. I like it and my own camera. And your own camera, which is heavy. How do you do this? You got you got to have stronger shoulders than That's crazy. It's cool. Yeah. Like, people are like, what are you doing with this massive thing? I had to change my mic, though, because Jess and I have the exact same camera yeah. set up, and we'll spend the whole time grabbing Perfect, each other's cameras. So. <laughs> that makes for good content right there. Yeah. First, we wanted to give a little bit of time to do kind of something of a Q&A. Of course, we did answer a lot of questions while we were walking for the tour. But if you have any questions for us or for Justin and Rebecca, this is kind of like your your time for that. So, I noticed you guys are wearing the same sandals. A, are they comfortable? Are they like barefoot sandals? You can hear. She asked Justin and I actually are wearing the same sandals, but it wasn't planned. We didn't plan it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we like to match. They're called Earth Runners, and yeah, they're barefoot sandals. And I'm getting a Wilder Still tattoo next. Yeah, we decided that. She <laughs> doesn't have like tattoo. <laughs> Some people do know what downtown is, but okay. So there has been. Okay. So there has been. I need to do that because I'm I'm mic'd.
for Wilder still. Um, and so I need to not be yelling because I have to <laughs> remind myself sometimes so he's far away. There's my friend right here. We've been sharing through the story of Wilder still that we have this really big vision, which actually Tom and Ashley, can you guys come up this way? See you walk in. <laughs> All right. So first I want to introduce you guys. This is Tom and Ashley. Round of applause. Our some of our ladies like me, yeah. So here's some of our very dear friends who are actually our business partners in the businesses that we are getting ready to open in downtown Batesburg, South Carolina. So while you're here visiting, you can go down there um, when you pull into Batesburg. It's on Fulmer Street. And we have purchased this building as well as the buildings behind it that are going to be a store called the Carolina Homestead Exchange, which is a brick and mortar homestead supply store where you can come and get all the chicken stuff you need, all of the kinds of things that you would need for homesteading like cheese making and dairy supplies and garden tools and cast seeds iron. and cast iron and, and sourdough stuff and all of the wonderful tomato plants. Tomato plants. We will definitely have those. Rebecca knows what's important to us. Um, all of that stuff that we hope to be a community hub where we're also going to be kind of launching out the early stages of our education endeavors, which is going to mean lots of classes um, to do all of these things. We're going to be hosting quarterly events there, like plant sales and like harvest festivals and all kinds of stuff. And right now, we are looking to launch these next spring. Um, it's kind of what we're aiming for, and it's going to be in conjunction with the farmer's market that's also going to take place down there. So I know a lot of you guys are not local. Some of you are, and for the local people, people this is really big news but we really hope that you guys will be able to come back at some point and take part with us in this so right now we're kind of in the early stages of the permitting and all of that stuff doing all of the design and everything but it's super excited super exciting um do y'all have anything you want to add to that? on the spot come on mr We're um, so my wife and I were the co-owners of McMurray Hatchery, and we couldn't be more excited. I don't. It's not a one-person vision. It's a. It's 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 what we have here today is a community and building the community. So I don't know. We're just we're just super excited to be here and to share in, in, in your guys's vision, and and I think we'll be a small part of that. So. <laughs> Cry a little bit, yeah. We're real excited. My wife's real excited too. So, so speechless, you'd say. Absolutely, no For us, it's like a stepping stone to what our old, like our end goal. So, like you said, what's the hope for downtown? It's to jump off into regular education, getting that confidence boost. You know, you grow your first successful garden, or you know, you learn in the process, like having a successful story for for me has always been like getting my head around it and then the confidence i'm saying to keep going to go further to gather you know to get to obtain the information you need to go to the next step and so we're excited to bring that like our our, our end goal i think is to have like a whole center of 365 learning classes internships like a restaurant, providing food for the community, like and just really spearheading a food movement in South Carolina that can also inspire people to do the same thing in other communities. You know, so. Yeah. So, so you are officially invited to make another trip here next year for okay, the grand opening of our story. So the party is over and done. We had an incredible time visiting with friends. Uh, both old friends and new friends and just overall had an, an amazing event now we also made our really big announcement well, I have brought you guys downtown to our new store and I'm going to show you guys a little peek of it we'll give you a full tour later okay, coming in the back door here so as you can see we're in this store which was a an old hardware store called Fulmer Hardware, which has been kind of a fixture in the Batesburg, South Carolina area for multiple generations. Mr. Sam, who owned this store, was ready to retire, and he sold it to us. 
uh, we shared our vision and dream for this area with him. And it's just a very cool thing to know that um, there was a legacy here. And we get to pick up in the same place building our legacy um, on that foundation, which is really awesome. Obviously, we have some work to do to turn this into the space that it's going to be. But our goal is to grand open this store next spring. What do you guys think? Okay. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of ghosts in there. <laughs> All right, guys, editing Jess here. In the chaos of the day, I obviously. Uh, have a very hodgepodge video on my hands that was quite the group effort of getting it made. Um, and I think that's probably very fitting to make this big announcement about this community um, effort that we're making. And we've been telling you for several months now that we had something in the works, and this is what it is. That we are partnering with Tom and Ashley of McMurray Hatchery in opening the Carolina Homestead Exchange, which is a store in downtown Batesburg. Um, I will have more information about this very soon. My next video will be a tour and kind of our plans of the, the area. Uh, but if you would like to be the first among people whenever we are making announcements for class signups, for events, for all of that stuff, make sure you are signed up for our email list. You can do that at rootsandrefuge.com or I'll put a direct link to the sign up in the show notes below. You know, we moved here with this plan that we knew that this was gonna be the next step that we took. We were gonna be building our farm quickly so we could then jump into these community efforts. And now that we're coming down to actually doing this thing where we actually have a building and we're meeting with contractors and we're getting this underway, um, I'm watching grocery prices go up higher and um, you know this conversation of the necessity of growing food is just getting louder and louder. There were there have been moments that I've thought man we're opening a business in the middle of this crazy economy and all this stuff but I feel more than ever encouraged that this is the right direction for us and that that this really was an important thing that we really did feel um, led to get this farm built fast so we could do this and I think it's going to be just in time that people are really going to be appreciative for more of a place to be able to get what you need and to learn how to use it for growing food and homesteading. So thank you so much for your support. Um, get on the email list, keep your eye out, more information on the Carolina Homestead Exchange coming soon, as well as another Wilder Still event like the one that you saw in this vlog today. So keep your eye out, more information coming. God bless you guys. Until next time.